Decimal accuracy of a number is the number of digits to the right of a decimal point. In Odoo, ERP, product price, discounts, pay, rule, measure, etc. are represented in decimal notation. And it is easy to set decimal accuracy in Odoo. In this video, we will discuss how to set decimal accuracy in Odoo 16. Here, you can just go to the uh, general settings and as we have just enabled the developer mode, you can see the yeah decimal accuracy under the technical menu so as you just drive down you can see a session called database structure and we can manage the decimal accuracy so you can uh, manage the decimary uh, decimal accuracy of these uh, listed um, things and you can see uh, we can see the digits of each of the u usage cases and um, note that you have closed the POIs while you are managing with the decimal accuracy because if you are creating some orders in one decimal accuracy and other orders in other some decimal accuracy, the balancing of the amount while closing the POIs will affect, which means uh, the balancing won't be in a proper way. So in order to manage with the decimal accuracy, first you have to close your POIs. Then only you can manage with the decimal accuracy. Now you can see uh, that the product price uh, has the decimal uh, accuracy of three and uh, you can change that also let's consider a few examples from here product price as well as volume so i will be considering the volume which has the decimal accuracy uh, three so when you just move on to the uh, sales module and let's consider a product right now so uh, here when you choose a product you would be able to see that the decimal accuracy of the product is Three. Here you can see that uh, 30 is the sales price and the cost is given as 0. But the point after 30 is 3. This is because we have given a decimal accuracy of 3. And when you just move on to the inventory, here you can see that the volume also after the point, you can see a 3 uh, values can be given here. Which means uh, the value of the book can be given as, um, I mean, 0.532. In this way, we can give the uh, value and the sales price and cost also given can be in such a way. So let me give the price of the book as, uh, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 30.123. And here you can also give the cost of the book as 12.751. Okay, now let me save this. So if I want to change the decimal accuracy, I can change that also. Now let's create the order. So let me um, create a order with this decimal accuracy. Here you can fill out the details of the customer and all. And you can choose a product. So let me choose a product. So as I choose a product here, you can see that the unit price is configured here and the subtotal is also configured. So if you want to change the subtotal uh, and you want to set the decimal accuracy into three digit, you can manage that uh, by going into the um, currency and you can change the decimal accuracy of the product so uh, for the time being I'm not changing the decimal accuracy of the currency now let's change the decimal accuracy from 3 to 2 uh, so you can just go to the settings and here you can choose the decimal accuracy from the technical menu and let's consider the product price and let me change the digit into 2 so here you might be getting a warning for product price and you can go with this warning and let's move on to the sales module and let me choose the quotation that I have right now created and let's consider the product again. So here you can choose the here you can choose a product which is book and as you choose a product uh, book you can see the unit price decimal accuracy is uh, changed because we have just given the price of the book as 30.123 and as you set the decimal accuracy into, into two digit you can see uh, the price is uh, set in such a way so you can just get into the internal link of the book and you would be able to see that as we have just changed the um, yeah, decimal accuracy of the product price you can see the change over here which will be affected in the sale order so if you want to just confirm with the sale order you can just confirm that and further process you can just continue 
So this is how we manage with the decimal accuracy in Odoo 16. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.